Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger! Today, we're going to be continuing through the Ocean Palace and get some more treasure before actually doing what we came here to do. So, let's head through that door there. Get a Shockwave, that's a new weapon for Luca there. Yeah, it's a little better. It can inflict chaos on some enemies. Okay, now I believe that switch we hit on the left side is what opened either this door or this platform, I forget. I always hit the switch before coming down here, so I never worry about that. Let's head here. There's a way to get through there. There we are. Okay, and we get a demon hit, which is not better for a frog there. It's a, it's a weapon for him, but I wouldn't bother equipping that on him. We got something better for him now, so... Let's see, uh... Yeah, there it is. And we get the Sonic Arrow for Marley. Alright, a little better weapon. Is there a slow, slow status? Yeah, there is a slow status in this game. We just can't inflict it with spells, I don't think. And now let's hit this switch on the center floor. That'll open that big door in the center room that I was telling you about. Now you could just walk back out if you wanted to, but let's fight the enemies on the other side. Well, at least the enemies have gold in this time period. And here we get a Kaiser Arm. Apparently they have robot weapons in this time period too. Although I suppose that makes a little more sense here since their technology seems to be so advanced. Okay, so now we want to head down through this lower door that we just opened here. Now, oh. Yeah, we got a new enemy we gotta fight here, don't we? Okay, fine. That's a new enemy, Thrasher. Um, yeah, they're not weak to any particular elements, so let's see. I think a spin cut should be enough. Let's find out. The non-elemental enemies seem to be relatively easy to defeat here. Uh, so, so that. All right, got him. And there's a door beneath us, but I don't think we can do very much here, can we? No. But there is something on that wall there. Hmm, we'll have to find a way to get that later. Instead, let's just go down these stairs. Whoa! Yeah, just use Luminaire to kill large groups of enemies, and I want to fight all these guys. You could try running under them, but chances are you'll hit one of them anyway, so you might as well get them all with Luminaire. Oh yeah, Marley learned Ice too in the last battle, so that'll be very nice. Ow. Hey, that dealt some damage. And there's another enemy, Lasher. Uh, I don't know if they're actually any different than the Crashers. They still die all the same, so that's all that really matters. Well, I guess they're a little weaker, but okay, that's fine. Yay. Man, this place is going to be pretty long. Not quite as long as Magus' lair, but still. And here's Masa. Okay. Yeah, a red rock's been passed down for 65 million years! Magic pendant, that's the one we got, and a knife were made from it. What about the Masamune? Oh, well, maybe they haven't made it yet, because, well, they're still here, obviously, so. And why are we confronting the queen anyway? I mean, what does this have to do with saving the world? It seems obvious from 1000 AD that, well, they failed, because, well, they're not alive anymore, or Lavos hadn't been woken up yet or something. I mean, what, are we worried that someone, like, is influencing the timeline or something, or trying to change it, so... Lavos 
is awakened earlier or something, or... Yeah, um, don't defy the queen. She'll take it to you. <laughs> he's taking it from the queen. Okay, let's continue on then. Alright, finally a rest point. So I'm going to use a shelter here and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So now let's, uh, uh oh. Okay, well what's this thing? Let's check it out. Now we're going to be fighting a series of un uninterrupted battles. So I'm going to just edit them all out between now and the time we get to the end there. So let's go. Oh, it's an elevator. Okay. Well, here we go. Let's do it. Oh, that was it? Huh. Okay. Well, now let's continue on. Oh, not so fast. You know, I just want to gain some tech points. Let's do it again! Alright! No, not really. For some reason, when you go back up the elevator, it takes you back up this other elevator shaft for some reason. I don't know why. But anyway, now I'm just going to, uh, this will take you back out here and I'm gonna have to uh, go all the way back through again and I think I have to fight all those enemies again too so I'll meet you back at the bottom of the elevator shaft uh, the other elevator shaft that is okay we've made it to the bottom of the elevator so let's see what happens when I step on this switch nothing Wow, oh, there's gotta be some way to make that switch useful And what we have to do, you hear that? Well, that's what the uh, switch does. That, ah, oh, crap. I didn't mean to hit that again. Flipping that one switch isn't enough. You have to go over here and flip this other switch first. So let's do that and return to the center area. Now let's see what this floor switch does. It moves the statues around, and it opens up a bridge for us. All right. Why is there, what is that, like lava in the floor there or something? Whatever. Oh, and there's a treasure chest here, which has an elixir. Now, at this point, I'd say it's a good idea to bring Isla into the party. Okay, well, we're already at the end of the Ocean Palace. Wow, that was a lot shorter than I remember. Well, it's time to confront the power of the Queen of Zeal. Can we defeat her and stop her plans? Will the Ruby Knife be of use to us? And what does any of this have to do with saving the world from Lavos? Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.